Hey, Cade. I brought you a rose. Just to remember you. Happy festival of loss, Cade. We're all sure gonna miss you. Oh, recording? Oh, sorry. Uh, hey guys, Hello Metals here, bringing you another Destiny 2 Shadowkeep video. I apologize about that, uh, what I just did earlier. I just want to pay my respects to Cade. Because everyone's gonna miss him. Especially those new players who are gonna play the Forsaken expansion, you know. <sighs> I'm still gonna miss him. But the good news is, at least I'm wearing the bond. I always wear Cade's bond. But anyway, today's Shadowkeep video, we're gonna be doing the Altars of Sorrow. It's a new activity on the moon um, that just came in the new weekly reset, uh, which just came out a couple of days ago. Uh, so, uh, before I do that, there was one thing I didn't notice about the Vessel of the Lost. Just want to point that out. These trees. I know they're good for decorations, but what I did not know, and some people probably already know, that there are leftover candy and chocolate strange coins. You see this guardian there? He's trying to climb up. He's going on to, to those platforms and try to pick up that loot. There's loot there that could be, I'm thinking, could be available every weekly reset because I already picked this up yesterday. Uh, those candy and chocolate strange coins on this tree here in the bazaar and the other tree at the courtyard and uh, when I came back here today it's still not here so I'm thinking it's gonna be there every reset that's what I'm thinking because we're still gonna have festival of the lost in the next weekly reset so that's good um, another thing is Cade's ramen favorite ramen place is now been taken over by this guy yeah, this guy. And you know what's the worst part is? I have a theory, guys. A theory. That this guy here just scared all the employees from that ramen shop to secretly steal all those ingredients to make ramen to give it to his buddies down here. Look at how many ghosts there are. Think about it. This could be... A theory. A working theory. I don't know. I'm just playing along. But this is cool though. There's a little bunch of ghosts underneath the last place where uh, Benedict was. Before, like, you know, uh, this was Benedict's spot. Uh, after, you know, like before, uh, he was moved to the Annex for the Opulence. Um, what was it called? Season of Opulence content so yeah that's one thing to point out um i'm also making good progress with festival of lost you know with the triumphs and trying to get the braytech werewolf um and i think i have some candy because when you do activities like the haunted forest strikes crucible gambit any activity you do um you'll get like pieces of candy and they'll end up in your postmaster so um i have a bunch of candy here you see i got like 68 so that's a lot of candy but uh yeah i'm gonna go take us to altar of sorrow well not altar of sorrow sorrow's harbor <laughs> always get myself mixed up with things A lot. Oh, I forgot one thing. Uh, if you noticed, I've got the um, got the emblem, which is called Dark Orbit. It's free. Uh, this emblem's free. It's not from the well, it is part of the event, but it's actually a Bungie reward. All you need to do is go to Bungie.net, go to your rewards, and you'll just see uh, you'll see this. It's asking you to send it to your email to provide you a code. And once you get the code from your email, um, it will it will verify it and it will accept your code and it will be available. But keep in mind, if you're doing this while you're playing Destiny, I recommend logging out or just quit the game and start it back up 
and then you can log back in and your emblem will be available in your collections tab underneath the you know the flare category under events just go to the next page and it's right there pretty straightforward it's free so you manage to, might get it but there's a prerequisite for it so read before you do anything for the emblem uh, I think it's asking to just do haunted forest just only once maybe so uh, give it a try okay we're here at Soros Harbor oh there's an event going on I'm going I see two Titans Okay, this is tier one. All right, perfect. Sweet tooth. Oh, I collected all the candy. Uh, keep in mind that's not the uh, part of the boss. That's just a high value target. That's the boss. I better take out those guys. Oh my god, look at that candy! There we go. Oh, we gotta defeat the nightmares in the time limit. Okay, this is like escalation protocol. A bit. And something similar to a, uh,. Vex offensive. I'm gonna pick him up. There we go. Ooh, we got a chocolate strange coin in the process. Nice. Oh, it's moved to the next one. Oh, I get it. It's similar to what it was just like uh, normal um, summonings, like, you know each of these platforms had like a nightmare ogre in like different platforms they just changed it a bit okay so you had to go to one altar at a time I see and then you kill them before they do anything All right. at least a lot of people are participating in this event I almost forgot, along with this event, uh, I talked to Eris earlier, uh, actually, yeah, earlier, like yesterday, um, and she gave me a quest step to access the new dungeon, which I think was called the Pit of Heresy, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, so with, uh, if I complete this, because it's telling me to go to Altars of Sorrow to uh, finish it off, once I complete the objective, I should head back to Eris, and I should get the dungeon unlocked. But this activity is really fun actually, it's bringing a lot of people from Soros Harbor. Because you don't see that many people in Soros Harbor. Um, because of uh, after the Shadowkeep campaign, there wasn't that many people like after the campaign was finished. Only you see like one or two people probably going to the K1 Revelations lost sector and that's pretty much it. But now with this activity I see like what? Three people? Yeah, three gardens here. There could be more in the process, we don't know. But there could be more participating in these events to finish, you know, Xenophage Quest, which is already out. The new dungeon, which I'm working on. And yeah, that's, oh that's the next one right there. We're pretty much n nailing them down, like jeez, we're shredding them. But we gotta be careful with these exploders. They do a lot of extensive damage. Okay, this is our last nightmare for tier 2. I'm just gonna use my super, why not? 
And we got another- Okay, I get it. We get a chocolate strange coin each time we complete one tier of- of this activity, so that's good. What do you do? Can you stand in there? Oh, okay. Whoa, I got slowed. And this guy- Oh, <laughs> Oh, this warlock just died! What do we do? Oh, okay. Cause I'm having trouble wondering how to activate this. And there's a nightmare over there. I better keep an eye out for like those nightmare essences because it'll help increase the damage against these guys. Oh my god, nice. That's not good. There. I killed like one or two knights with my super so I can generate some orbs for my team or other fellow players. Players! Jeez. Something's wrong with my speech. Oh no, Ogre. You're not going anywhere. You guessed some followers. Is he using a... Yeah, he's using one of those shotgun bandlanders. He could have used a... Uh, Aikilo shotgun. Or the uh, threat level. Because both shotguns have a... Uh, what do you call it? They have a trench barrel perk. Very useful. Okay, that wizard shielded, so I'm thinking... Oh, both of them are shielded. How do we take out the... Sh Is this something to do with these guys? Yep. I knew it. Sword time. Okay. Uh, one's over there across. Oh. Gotta reach it in time. There we go. We're going down, wizard. Okay, we got like 30 seconds on the clock. I'm gonna save my super for the next one if I can. Oh, our time's extended, that's good. You're not going anywhere, wizard. There. Where's the next altar? Oh, it's behind us, alright. Let me go grab some candy. Where are we now? Are we in tier 4? I lost count. Yep, tier 4. There's 7 nightmares. Look at that damage we just did. That ogre's almost dead. There he goes. Let me grab that.
quit. I think the objective is, is to prevent these nightmares from getting to that portal. Oh, that's unfair. Okay, we got the wizard. Destroy wizards to summon more nightmares. Oh. Okay, we need, uh, I need a sword. Where can I get a sword? Oh, there's, there's, come on. Give me a sword. Thank you. Come here, wizard. Okay, I don't have enough. Darn. I'll grab another one. That is not a wizard. There's one over there. Okay, he's gonna take care of that wizard. I'm gonna go get this wizard. There we go. Oh, saw the wizard flying. Oh, there's another nightmare over there. Took almost all my super. That's a lot of hiders guarding there. Oh, it's one second. If you kill these ads, you get an additional seconds. I did not know that. Great. I can do with some eye control while I'm at it. Where did he go? Kill like what two of them? So there's like six more nightmares to go. No, he's getting inside. Don't let him. Oh no! Damn it! Nightmare has been sacrificed. I just don't know what the consequences are when it's sacrificed though. 
These things are going a bit faster. No, 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 no. Oh, that was a close call. Where are the wizards? I only got a minute. Okay, give me that sword. I want you to pick up sword. It's at the bottom of the stairs, that's dumb. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. Come here, wizard. Okay, that wizard's gone. I need to grab another sword. Did I pick it up? Oh, I did not pick it up. Alright, I gotta go pick him up. Never mind. Oh. Okay, I gotta grab that sword. We have what? Another wizard over here? There. It's like what? Four hits to kill him. like 40 seconds on the clock and we killed three wizards let me grab that piece of candy over there okay grab that piece of candy get that piece of candy over here there's like Three more wizards, and... Oh, a whole stack of heavy ammo over here. Alright, get up, fellow guardian. I need you. And that wizard. Oh, and... I'm going back. Never mind. That's a bad idea. Bad idea going there. There's a wizard over here. Nice. One more wizard, and we should be on our way. There we go, we've done it. Now we have to kill four more nightmares. I think that should be the end of it. I think. There could be more. Like, who knows. Another ogre, great. Going pretty fast, actually. Okay. Cool. I love that explosion. Let me grab these and some orbs of light. Because I definitely am going to need my super back. Bunch of candy over here. There's a wizard. Oh, we're losing people. Alright, one more nightmare and we're good to go. Hey, some loot. Okay, oh, another piece of candy. Where's the last nightmare? There you are. There we go. Proceed to the last altar and face the final nightmare. Alright. Let me grab these orbs of light. They might come in handy. Who knows? There you go. Night 
Nightmare of Tanks to Scarred. Super got into his nightmare mode. Know what that means? We gotta go find those nightmare escorts, like those ones. Where'd he go? You got like 20 seconds, are you kidding me? Oh, nightmares are being sacrificed. Are you kidding me? That's dumb. They're like fighting tanics and then all of a sudden these guys are going to other altars. Uh, at least we're back in tier 5. Oh, I'm not alone here. Where's my fire team? That is so much hive right now. Oh, I get it. So basically when they're sacrificed, the consequences... The consequences is 10 seconds. You lose 10 seconds. I think killing a nightmare might grant us a few more seconds, like probably additional 10 seconds. So many explosions, it's hard to see. Okay. Man, these ads are dropping candy, glimmer. Ammo. Not now, Tolan. No, 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 no. Uh. Well, at least we finished tier five. Then get to the boss, though. So I did update. Yeah, I've updated this, so need to return to Eris Morn. Okay. Let me just go turn these in. Go to my map. And fast travel.
Well, we're fast traveling. I'm gonna go check these triumphs that I have unlocked. Ooh, nice. I collected the strange chocolate coins and the candy. And I got myself an emblem. Sweet. That looks nice. Now that's a Halloween emblem. Okay, Eris. the ascendant plane and beyond it the realm from which the pyramids fly you must descend into the moon's depths ensure that such an alliance never comes to pass all right so the deep waking awakening <clears throat> sorry the strange hive rituals within Soros Harbor have proven to be only the tip of the iceberg. Eris believes the remaining daughters of Crota are sacrificing nightmares to obtain their dark energy. What the daughters are using them for, she does not know. But all signs point beneath the harbor itself. Search Soros Harbor for the entrance to the Pit of Heresy. I think I know where it is. And look at that! Always be prepared. That's for the final dead ghost. Nice. Alright, let's go back to Soros Harbor. And find it. I think I know where it is. Should be where the Scarlet Keep entrance. Oh, someone started another one. I'll participate that later. And someone dropped some candy. Yes. Alright, I think it should be down here. I have to go further down. This has got to be it. No? Maybe it's on the map? Oh, there it is. Oh, you can select it from here. But can you see it on the map? I'm going to go to that spot and see. can't summon my sparrow so I have to move further there you go according to it it's all the way down there I just kill some ads in the process so that way I participated Where is it telling me on the map? Oh, behind me. I'm on it, am I? Yes, I am. Okay, so there's no entrance thing just like the Shadow Throne. So, you can access the dungeon from the directory. Makes sense. So that's it guys, that's the Altars of Sorrow. 
Um, I might do one more actually. Yeah, let's do one more and see if we can get the boss. We got like another additional uh, guardian here. See, there's like four done plus me. That's five. So we should be able to finish this off. And we're in tier three, so that's a good start for me. So many orbs of light. And so many heavy ammo. Glimmer and candy. I love this. Where's the next altar? Oh. Good, at least they brought knights as nightmares. Oh, I missed. Oh good, I think a hunter is needed. So chaotic. Come on. There you go. Getting away, Knight. But uh, let's get that nightmare. Ooh, Ooh legendary. Close call. Oh, 
I lost the nightmare stuck in the portal. Oh, never mind. He came out. There. Where's our next altar? Up oh, down there. Saw a piece of candy, and I got it. Ooh, another one. Here we go. Not going anywhere, Ogre. You're tethered. Oh, he somehow got out of the tether. Not for long. Well, at least that tether's making more. Orbs, and that warlock is terrible chaos reach. One, he needs geomech stabilizers, and two, he needs a good proper aim. take out a boss. I mean a yellow bar enemy, but typically a boss. That's how you take it out with a chaos region. Oh no you don't Archer. Gather some more of light. Someone just brought five orbs. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yep, there they are. Look at all these orbs. Enough for me to get a super bat. I'm going to need a sword though. Go. Think about that. Ah, oh, lost my sword. You. Okay, it takes five sword hits to kill a wizard. Somebody kill a high value target. Nice. Got that. And I'm gonna grab that sword. Telly ho!
There you go. Now that warlock finally got the use of chaos reach. Another ogre. Yep. Look at those orbs. And these tethers are very useful to get more orbs. Last altar. I think it's gonna be still Tanix discard. Or is it gonna be a different boss? And I don't have enough orbs. I think there's orbs back there. Yep. Oh uh, yeah, it's the same boss. Oh no you don't. No 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 no. There. Cool. It's hard to do it when there's nightmares. Damn, we, we lost again. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah. We're still in this fight. Keep killing ads. No, we're losing ads pretty quickly.
like stuck at 12 seconds. <laughs> Trying to find as much out as I can. like pulling all of these ad kills for barely like six seconds. Need more ad kills. Nope. Ah. We were so close. It's so hard to kill Tanix when there's like these stupid additional nightmares sacrificing themselves. One down. Stay in there. At least I could get more of the light now. Frames, man. Frames got slower all of a sudden. Valley target there. Where are you going, High Valley target? Come back. There. Get 
God, the frames got slow. Fine, we just need to find one more wizard. I'll take that sword. Oh, wizards are dead. Now we have to kill the nightmares. Okay. No sword anyway, so let's wreck them. That's our fifth nightmare, just three more to go. Oh, Ogre's coming this way. And that's our sixth nightmare. Oh, there's a couple of orbs here. And some of my own. Oh, I still have a nightmares over there. It's also a knight. I wonder our eighth one is going to be a knight as well. No, no, no! Ah, oh, he got sacrificed. Oh no, we got him. That's strange. Seconds already? Jeez. I don't know why we got plenty of time. And oh yeah, it's a knight. Oh, gotta reload my gun. Get rid of this over. And there we go, we killed our last and final knight. I'm gonna grab some orbs. Now the problem is, is killing those nightmares because they're the ones that takes a lot of our time. to like this one I need.
can use those mods you need, those nightmare mods. That's the thing, everyone's focusing on tannics. They think that the nightmares aren't important. That's what I believe. There. Got us an additional 10 seconds. Because if we focus on the nightmares first, then it wouldn't be a problem. I can't pick him up when I'm getting distracted and getting hit a lot. Get that knight! Don't let him get through! Ah, oh, you kidding me. You know what, I think I'm gonna go switch to a shotgun. much blues while farming in the uh, altars of sorrow. I think some people are leaving. Yep, it ended. Oh, hey, I got a sniper rifle. Nice, let's see what perks I got. Okay, I got Handling Masterwork, I got Multi-Kill Clip, Shield Disorient, Alloy Magazine, Steady Rounds, Corkscrew Rifling, and Full Bore. Actually, go Full Bore, because we need some range. Hmm, it's a 140 rounds per minute, 6 mag. That looks cool. Alright. Is it good with shaders? Oh yeah, it's definitely good with shaders. Look at these. Look at these colors. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice indeed. That's cool. I got one of the weapons. I'll probably keep this as a PvE type. Rather than uh, PvP, there's no way these two trade perks can be very useful at PvP, so I'll use it for PvE use. And uh, that's it, guys. Um, that's the Altars of Sorrow. It's going to take me a long time for me to uh, get to the final boss and finish it off, you know, because it's really hard without a good proper team. So I think coordination is the key for this, and probably more players too, because it's really hard to do it without a full fire team of six or more. So I'm going to put a stop to it, so I'm going to have a next video 
where I'm going to be doing the dungeon soon, if I can find a good fire team. And when I do, I will do the full walkthrough of the of the dungeon, uh, see all the secrets and stuff there. I'm also going to get the tenth final ghost because it's in the dungeon as well. So uh, stay tuned for that video, guys. I hope you guys uh, enjoy this vid. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my friends' YouTube channels, Gear and Just Another Gaming Channel, for their Destiny 2 Shadowkeep content. So that's it, everybody. Thank you guys for watching. Sella Metals is out.